Glenn Lasanto, uh, speaking to Simon Saunders. Uh, you are the founder, I believe, of the uh, Small Cell Forum, um, and you're here this week supporting the Small Cell uh, World Summit. Simon, how important is this summit to the small cell ecosystem? Glenn, the, the, the Small Cell Forum goes to a lot of events. One of our roles is to evangelise and bring to the attention of the whole market about small cells, the opportunities they present and the progress that we're making in enabling them within the industry. Out of all those many events we go to, there's, there's no doubt that this is the number one premier event for us. We have an exclusive partnership with Average Events to support their whole Small Cells World series. Um, so my job is made a lot easier when people ask me which events should I be going to, I talk about the Small Cells World series. And then further when they say which is the one event, it's clearly this event, London in June, is the highlight of the, the Small Cells calendar. Um, and for good reason. Um, we, we find here that we can immediately work with a lot of our existing members and help to bring to the attention of the world the things we've been doing with them in terms of the work of the forum. Likewise, we find it's the first place that new folks sniffing around the ecosystem wanting to get involved go to understand the environment. We have a great opportunity to strike up a conversation with them, uh, give them insight into the latest what's happening, even beyond what you'll see in the, in the conference presentations, because some of that's happening behind the scenes, um, and get them engaged in our forum. So it's a, an absolutely must-have event, and if, if somebody's involved in small cells and they're not involved in this event in some way, they're clearly missing out. So you've hinted at it a little bit there. There's a lot more going on behind the scenes. It's not just what we see in the conference hall uh, or in the seminars. It's the uh, uh, behind the scenes networking, uh, some of it perhaps in secret. That's uh, uh, what really makes this event swing. Absolutely. So, so networking on these things is, is essential. I mean, in terms of what's, what's behind the scenes, you know, we've already got 3.8 million femto cells out there. You know, and that has involved a lot of blood, sweat and tears to get to that point. We've addressed a whole lot of challenges, um, some of which you know, involve some really tough discussions that I would say before people emerge smiling, bruised and battered perhaps, but smiling nevertheless, that got us to 3.8 million. Right now, this year, it's a very key, pivotal moment for us, I would say, because our forum and this conference have evolved from being a femto cell, exclusively to being the whole world of small cells um, and that has created a whole lot of new challenges. In a certain way it's like starting again, albeit with a firm foundation of femto cells. It's created a broader range of, of operators that we're dealing with, so today we have 67 operators who are between them have virtually 3 billion mobile subscribers, virtually half of the world's total. So suddenly it's become a, a near universal topic. And the conversations that go on here about what are the real challenges, you know, we've heard the, the showy stuff that says we've got a lot of capacity to, to deliver in the world, a lot of improvement in the economics and the user experience, small cells offer a great potential answer for that, but to get there there's a lot of challenges to deal with. When we get behind the scenes in your network to understand what they're seeing of those challenges, and to form our agenda, the forum's agenda, for the coming years to how to address those challenges. Uh, and if we do that, big things happen. So on the back of what we've done, working through these conferences and our own efforts for the last five years, by the end of this year, there will be more small cells in the world than there are macro cells which is a really significant statement. There are, um, we, what we expect is that there'll be around 6.4 million small cells installed around the world by the end of this year, as compared with 6 million macro cells. So this isn't you know, something at the edges, a little niche, it's transforming the shape of mobile networks, and we need to work with people at events like this to make it happen. So it's no exaggeration to say that there's some very exciting times ahead in the world of small cells. They really are. I mean, um, it's exciting at various levels, you know, not only because small cell vendors get to sell small cells, but, but primarily because operators delivering services have a new tool in the kit that says, says I can choose where, when and how to deliver more service, more bits, 
to deliver a better service, more bits per second, uh, and to do it in less spectrum, which is a very prized possession. So, you know, more bits for the same hertz, as it were. Um, and, and if we get that stuff right, it, it's, you know, it's exciting to the power end. So, so by 2016, forecasts are suggesting we could reach over 90 million small cells deployed in the world, which is, is no small bit. So we might need a bigger conference hall next time. Well, it's definitely growing. You know, there's a tangible uptick this year relative to last year. It's moved to being an event that, that you know, isn't that isn't just addressing a minority interest, but addressing something that, that you know. When I talk to operators, I really struggle now to find an operator that doesn't have small cells on their own. It's that degree of universality. The event is going to reflect that, and I'm sure it will continue to do so. Thanks very much. You're really welcome.